When doing periodontal probing, you will obviously use a probe. This is a Williams probe, and you can see from the markings on the end of the probing, each line represents a millimeter reading. So that would be one millimeter, two millimeters, three millimeters, four to five millimeters. So this periodontal probe is gonna be inserted into the patient's gum until it hits the bone and the top of the gum, wherever it stops, that's the reading that the doctor or the hygienist will be giving to you. So it's in millimeters. One to three millimeters is a normal pocket depth. Anything above three millimeters is indicating some either bone loss or inflammation of the gums. When charting, you want to chart anything one through three millimeters in blue, anything above four and above millimeters in red, which indicates there may be an issue. There's six readings per tooth, three on the facial and three on the lingual. That's the gum tissue and this is the tooth. So the probe gets inserted between the gum tissue and the tooth until it stops and hits bone. And the marking on the probe is the millimeter readings. So now. The probe is inserted into the sulcus until it hits bone and stops. So there are three readings, distal, direct and mesial and you just go along and read all three numbers these are the probe depths however you put between the gum and it hits bone that's their bone level in millimeters six readings per tooth three on the buckle side and three on the lingual side. When the hygienist or the doctor is doing the probing, you as the assistant do not do the probing. They will just be calling out the numbers to you and you're gonna be ch periodontal charting them. Do all the facials of the maxillary and then go back and do all the linguals of the maxillary and then go to the mandibular and do all the facials, and then go back and go all the linguals. So on the molar distal buckle, we got an eight, direct, we got a seven, on the mesial, we have a seven. So then it just goes very quickly. So then it's eight, seven, eight, four, two, five, three, two, two. Three, ooh, ooh. see it's going until it hits bone. You're going between the gum and it stops. This will hit bone when it's stopped, indicating a periodontal issue. So if you remember that was five to seven, eight, nine. And the patient's usually not numb for this, so it's not pleasant for them. Five, 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 six, two, 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 three, two, three, three, two, three.
three, two, three, three, two, three, seven, one, two, three, two, three. Yeah, hygienist and dentist are the only ones that do this. An assistant can't. So you go through, they're going to call off three numbers for every tooth along the facial or on the lingual, and we do the same thing. So I'm starting with number one, but I'm at the distal lingual, and then I'll do the direct lingual and then the mesial lingual. But again, I'm just going through, going to be calling off numbers, and the assistant is period charting just the numbers and we do all three all the way across three pockets on the lingual side we do all the facials of the mandibular and i would go back do all the linguals three readings per tooth so again as the assistant you are just charting off the numbering of the pocket depths but this is periodontal charting Again, the assistant cannot do it. The hygienist or the dentist does it, but they will call the assistant over to do the charting for them so that they can just call out the numbers and somebody else is charting the numbers because you can see it would be difficult for them themselves to do this and stop and write down the numbers. So just know that there's three pockets on the facial of every tooth and three pockets on the lingual of every tooth. It's just important for the assistant to mark off any missing teeth because they're not gonna call off the tooth number that they're doing each time. You're already gonna know and they're just gonna go through in sequential pattern and talk, call off all the numbers until you have it. This is our periodontal charting paper. Mostly done on computers nowadays, but it's the same concept with three boxes on the facial side for the probe readings. Since we have six pockets per tooth, we have three on the facial and three on the lingual of each tooth. So there's six pocket depths per tooth on the maxillary and then in the mandibular. So as the assistant, again, you're just doing the charting as the hygienist or the doctor is calling off. So you're gonna start with the distal buckle, the direct buckle, and the mesial buckle, and just all three numbers they're gonna go through. You're initially gonna mark off any missing teeth before you even start. So for this scenario, we're going to say number one is missing. 16 is missing. 17 is missing. 20 is missing. 29, 30, and 32. So we mark off any missing teeth before we even start because again, when the hygienist or the doctor just starts calling off numbers, you're gonna skip the box of the missing tooth because the tooth is not there for them to probe. We have a red or blue pencil or a red and blue pen, or again, if you're doing it in a computer, you would do it red or blue. Anything three, one to three millimeters is within a normal range. So that's just in blue. Anything above four millimeters will be marked in red. So you need the two different colors to distinguish. Already marked out all of our missing teeth before we started. Now the hygienist is starting her probe reading. So she's gonna start and do all the facials of the maxillary and just go all the way across and then drop to still in the maxillary, but the lingual and go all the way straight across and then drop down to the mandibular and do the same. All right, 
And remember, anything four millimeters and above is a warning and needs to be in red. So we're gonna start with the distal buckle of number two because one is missing. So it's four, three, four. Four, two, four. Four, two, four. Three, two, three. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. We're on number 10, is that correct? Yes. Number 10, three, two, three. 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 And number 15 is three, two, three. And number 16 is missing. So now this hygienist prefers to go, just drop down to number 15 and do the lingual and start with the distal lingual. And you, so now you're kind of going the opposite backwards. So number 15, distal lingual, three, two, three, three, two, three, three, two, three, three, Two, three, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, and we're on number eight, is that correct? Yes. Two, one, two, two, one, two, three, two, three, three, two, three, three, two, four, and that's going to be in red because it's a warning. Number three, four, two, four, four, two, three. And number one is missing. So that's the entire maxillary. We did all three pockets of each tooth on the facial and then dropped down and did all three pockets on the lingual. So that just completes the maxillary. And then the doctor or hygienist would move down and do the same thing on the mandibular. So we just finished doing the lingual of number two. So now we're gonna drop down to the mandibular. And it's just, it's personal preference, but it's easier just to do the facials. So since we're dropping down, since we ended at number two, we're gonna start with number 31 and then do all of the facials. Again, all the teeth that are already missing are marked off, which is 32, 30, 29, 20, and 17. So as the doctor or hygienist are calling off, they're not even gonna call off. You totally skip those three boxes of all those teeth. So we're gonna start on the distal facial of number 31. Three, two, Three, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, one, two, one number twenty five. Yes, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, number twenty two, yes. canine, two, one, two, three, two, three. Number 19, because 20 is missing, so we're not even going there. Three, two, three, and three, two, three is 18, and 17 is missing. So now we're gonna go on the lingual side. And again, I'm just gonna go up, because I'm already at 18, so I'm not gonna have the patient move their head. And now I'm gonna start on the distal lingual of 18. So that's, 17 is missing, so we're starting on 18. Distal lingual. Four, two, four, three, two, three, 
three, two, three, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two. Want number 25? Yes. Two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, three, two, three. Number 31? Yes. Three, two, three. All right, so that is our periodontal charting of the maxillary and mandibular. It's a full mouth probe, FMP. That is to determine bone level and legally required to be done once a year, more often so if people have periodontal issues. Because if somebody has a pocket Anything above four, that is starting of bone loss. And if you don't do anything about it, it will just continue to get deeper and deeper until it comes to a five, six, seven millimeter pocket and they would lose their tooth. So that's kind of what the numbers mean. One to three is normal. So that's why usually the deeper numbers are in the molar areas. And usually from people maybe not flossing enough and getting all the plaque and tartar out, not getting their cleanings every six months or a year, or they could just have defects in their teeth. But so legally this has to be done to determine people's bone level and the types of cleaning they need. So this correlates with cleanings and you don't want to give a regular cleaning to somebody who has five and six millimeters of pocket depth, which means bone loss since one to three is normal. You don't want to do a regular cleaning, which is just surface cleaning because you need to get in those pockets and clean it up. So they're getting a disservice if they're getting a regular cleaning when they have five and six millimeter pockets because that's not going down deep into those pockets to get all the debris out that is causing the bone to deteriorate. So that's when they need the scaling and root planning or deep cleanings so that they can go deeper to kind of clean that all out. This is the completed periodontal charting. The missing teeth were marked out. You can see the red numbers indicated bone loss. We went through and did all three pockets of each two on the maxillary facial. We dropped down. We did all three pockets of the maxillary lingual. We dropped down to 32. We did all three pockets of each two of the facials buckles and then we went back up and did all three pockets of the mandibular linguals and this is our charting completed